What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex and I'm Moana and we're Real Talk with BB and today we're going to be checking out Fleabag Season 1 Episode 3. Let's get into it. Before we get into it guys, ma'am, do you want to go ahead and give those that are new in the audience a quick little speed recap? Sure. First we met Hillary, the guinea pig. I fear for her death. Second, we <laughs> Harry, Henry, I think Harry Henry, one Harry. of them, and Fleabag uh, broke up. And third, Fleabag's over there trying to steal the booby statue. Oh, that's right. She was selling the booby statue at the beginning of the episode. That's pretty much it in the last episode, but it was a good one. Not too much plot-wise. A lot of character. A lot of character building. That's the I best. I love that. Ooh, eat it. Nom nom. Ooh, so that's the good. whole thing. Let's go. Mmm, character building <laughs> so good. I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually kind of excited to get into the episode. I know we've, we've been getting a few comments in our last episode kind of telling us that we were on the right track, or at least you were on the right track of where the, the kind of plot or the character was going. Before we get into it, guys, we just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. We understand that we're a small fish in a big pond, and the fact that you're here, we're super grateful for it. If you're new to this channel, please do us a quick favor. If you can go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe, especially the like. It lets us know if it's content that you'd like to see on the channel. Other than that, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Talking. <laughs> that you are. <laughs> I did a fart the other day that was exactly like mine. <laughs> A door opening or suspicious dark? Door opening. <laughs> that mm. <laughs> My farts used to be like... <laughs> now they're just sort of fighting their way out. I feel that. In about three years. That does not sound right. <laughs> Happy birthday. I don't think giving her a cheesecake, well, it might help her. It's really a business birthday thing. It won't be much fun, so just don't expect a party party. I won't. And I'm glad that they're hanging out maybe more. Maybe just wear trousers and don't drink too much. There's this huge promotion <laughs> of fit. God, I can't wait to be old. If there's any consolation, you look older than you are. That's stress, Damn, girl. Damn, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I meant. It was particularly okay. hard because she had amazing no boobs. She used to tell me I was lucky because mine would never get in the way. Ouch. Whoppers. <laughs> she got all of mum's good bits. Cursory stroke would be nice. What? No bang bang. <sighs> he says he's still got that thing on his. What? On his. Come on, you can do it. I don't have to <laughs> say. No. Little Not one, here. come on, please. No. Penis. Thank you. <laughs> he says he still has that thing on his penis. Sorry. We should go get it checked if it's been around that long. That's hilarious. No bang bang. <laughs> what? You come here every day. Like she's letting little don't, bits of her go, like on accident. And don't yeah. sing happy birthday. I, can, uh, I thought that maybe um, you'd like to come to her birthday party. Um, anyway, give me a call and. Um, Hope you're okay. Bye. What's with the stare at the dog? Is it because the dog is staring at you? Can't go out with the dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> girl. Girl! <laughs> I mean, you could've went to the restroom, girl, first of all. Can you imagine someone walking in like that? Just specifically that. <laughs> Just those two parts, that's it. <laughs> I'm working, damn! <laughs> she looks so annoyed. She's gonna send it to her ex. Time to throw the net out. Oh, she's just... <laughs> okay. Just sending it wherever. Jesus Christ! Why am I gonna get Claire? I was waiting for that. To get her the perfect present. I told I you he was gonna be stressed. Always drunk. Smack me in the face. Really hard. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. They can give me a semi. <laughs> can I eat the water? He's one of those men who is explosively sexually inappropriate with everyone, but makes you feel bad. But except for his wife? Because he was just being fun. Honestly, 
You can tell him Sounds like pop a dick. To you, and he'll say, Yes, you pop to the loo, pull down your knickers, and then I will come in and fuck you. God damn, what the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you think she'd like to pick? Can I take this one? No, not that one. Christ woman. Something wrong with that one. It's got death in its eyes. No, stop! Um, that says she's depressed. I told you, man. Well, that sandwich is so good. <laughs> Look, this is London. The sandwich or just oh, bread? Oh, weird and expensive. No, no. It's got to be good, all right? Help me! Pay me and I'll help you. Fuck off! How much? 25. Ooh! 70. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You need to up your count, dude. He said 25. Well, I thought she was going to charge like last time, not quadruple it. I don't know. I, I want to be that person. I have been that person. Waiting for her to uh, point, at the, point at the sneaker. Uh, but most of the time, I'm that person. <laughs> she'll think I've gone nuts. No, she'll think you see her as this person. And everyone wants to be this person. I don't know. I, aren't these for children? <laughs> no. They're golden shoes. Let's keep going. I told you Saw they're going to bring out the sneakers. <laughs> you did get that one spot on. <laughs> Do you know My him? Neighbor, he's like, he's like, okay. I'm going to hold his face in my head so you can see him. Okay. Transmitting <laughs> energy. Do you see who I'm okay. talking about? To make your face his face. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Jesus. I'm really sorry, we're really high. We just really wanted to know what you look like. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> you're lovely. That was charming, though. You was, can't say it wasn't. It was really cute. Oh my god, look at my elegant. The hurt in both of their faces seeing mm, each other. Swaggy. <laughs> Okay. Oh. That's a panic attack. Mm. Poor girl. So come on, who was that heartbreaker? Hmm? He used to go out with Boo. And then he slept with someone else. And then ah. she... Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Fuck. I've never really said... Oh, man. I that was. makes me worry even chance. more that they locked eyes like that. Mm. Oh, your theory's bad. coming around. You should probably get yourself out there, sweetie. You're just tipping your prime. Henry, what the hell, bro? <laughs> Another drink? Hmm? Bingo. I thought he was Harry. Excuse me. The other one was Henry. Harry. God damn it, Harry, Henry. All these H's, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I was not expecting to see you again. Me neither. Shut up. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm chuffed to my boots. Um, That's who I thought. Oh, oh my God. What are you, you going to get her? I, I know this beautiful soap shop. I mean, this stuff just gets you straight in the bath. Oh, I was thinking more like... Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. The, 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 these places all the time. <laughs> hey, this can't be in there. <laughs> what are you craving? Oh, just a really, really cheap thrill. For you. Oh. Hello. No. <laughs> sexually frustrated sister. Thanks. Fleabag just trying to get it any way she can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I think you just did it at the bottom. <laughs> 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 you, you you don't have one on you now. Yep, never gonna get it. Where? Where's my vagina? Yeah. Where's my vagina? Yeah. Oh, you got me. I don't carry a vagina around with me. <laughs> That'd be way too provocative. <laughs> I have a vagina. <laughs> okay. Basically, it doesn't stop until you've come. Excuse me. Oh, don't worry. I'm... It's uncomfortable. Um, it will be fine. Surprise! Surprise! Oh my god! Thank you so much. I'm so surprised. <laughs> oh my god. 
Divine. What a lovely husband you have. It's awesome. <laughs> How did you meet? Oh, I met her on a bus. <laughs> it's so easy to pick up girls these days. And I was like, hi. And she's like, oh, take my number. <laughs> I was like, yeah. OK. Let's see if there are any other wines to try. It's, it's lovely. I'm going to see if there's some others. <laughs> I feel the awkward tension in the room so bad. I was so sorry to hear about Harry. Lovely Harry. Love Harry. Can't stand this guy. Okay, can you stop rubbing it in? <laughs> Just all alone, feeling so terribly lonely. Just can't stop picturing it. Ah, uh, I get it now. <laughs> so sweet of you. Very sweet. May I cut it in? Yes, of course. I hate her. Do you know, you are. <laughs> She's fire, though. I, I hate her already. And nothing, I just slipped. Claire? This is my yes. friend. Yes, we've already met. My wife. Does she not even know his name? I've... No, it literally said bus rodent. All of your desires. Like his like name? That was the name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that's really Oh no. Uh-oh. Something. Yeah. Wow, I think it's really a bit inappropriate for your guests to see your body at this. I'm just going to put it in my name. You bitch, you were supposed to sell it. Uh-oh. Stuff starting to go downhill this episode. It's a different mood. Mm-hmm. Your boy, he is hilarious, smart, funny. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick. Finger up the ass. Nipple tickle. <laughs> Come on, lighten up. Uh, he's kind of weird. I don't like him. Looking there forward you go. To that. I let your real feelings out. Get out of my face. Oh no. Ugh. Oh god. I don't like that. You're an asshole. What? <laughs> You know what's kind of crazy to me, though, is the fact that people don't back up when something like that happens. Because obviously she looked like she was, like, you know, retracting back. But why'd she just stand Stay there? Why are you leaving so early? Oh, I have to give Hillary some uh, Earl Grey. She's not feeling well, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got you this. It's called a borrower. It basically won't stop until you come. Sounds horrendous. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good, uh, birthday business? Are you okay? Yeah. Damn, that would be such an uncomfortable situation. Are we leaving? She doesn't want to be the yes. one to birthday girl. start oh. drama in her life. Party, thank you so much. We have yeah, when she's night. trying to get closer. Shall we? <laughs> At the cafe? I'm nearly finished. I'm nearly finished. <laughs> It's like having sex with a protractor. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm finished. You don't go through life with teeth like these and, and not know when someone's pretending. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'll, I'll kick it. I'll kick it. Hey, hey. I'll, I'll kick it. What? Did we catch that, or is that yours? Oh, like, I thought it was rat. good. It's a guinea pig. That is a rat. Guinea pig. You're a Indeed, rat. Bitch. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a cuddle. Don't strangle it. You oh, look like you're about to kill weird. it. I know that the sh the music is like trying to lighten the mood, but no, no, these it's, cutaways it's, are so heavy. It's if that makes sense. It's got like that uh, unironically, you know what I mean? Where yeah. It's, it's funny, but it's actually not. It's the whole masking of mm -hmm. grief and everything like that. She's pretending that she's okay. Oh boy. Okay, so Ooh, we. Oh boy. <laughs> Seems that we have figured out a few things about Fleabag in this episode, and I have a couple predictions as well, but anyway, before we go into it, what did you think about Fleabag Season 1, 
episode three. This was uh, a lot heavier of an episode than I was expecting. Mm. Like, it had its. Co- it obviously it's it's the show in general as a comedy. It's gonna have its comedic moments to break that tension. We were still laughing, but even the jokes that made me laugh were also like felt like they were heavy and had that weight behind them. I'm amazed that she's able to to just write like that. I, I don't think I've ever watched a comedy that had like this kind of weight behind the jokes. It's good. No, I definitely am enjoying this one. This is like I always say, it's right up my alley and the type of content that I personally love to watch like in my own time. One of the things that stuck out to me right at the start was when she was talking to her sister. And mm-hmm. of course she did the fourth wall breakaway. Oh, she's not gonna eat that. And then she ate it. And like the thing that, that clicked in my mind was, oh, she doesn't know her sister as well as she thinks she does. And I don't know if that's because of the fact that her friend died and the grief has caused them to kind of cause her to pull away. So she doesn't know about as much about her sister because she's not around. Or if it's just kind of like all the tragedy and, you know, she's thinking of a time before everything went downhill for her. And mm-hmm. it's not the same person that she is like at this moment. I do think that there's something going on with that. I like that you pointed that out with the sister. I think what I took away from that scene was not so much that she doesn't know her that well, but more so that her sister is trying to rekindle something with Fleabag. And I think it has to do with the result of obviously her best friend's accident. So I think it's more so that. I think it's that you could see the yearning to want to try to get closer. You see Fleabag also in the sense getting surprised by some of the things that her, that her sister is doing, Claire's doing. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't, it, it's not clicking with her because these are new probably for her. So that's kind of what I took away from that. My other two thoughts essentially all revolve around Fleabag and, and her feelings. I mean, that's this whole show. <laughs> but one of the things that really was way, way, way apparent this episode, and it was like smack in your face, was how much she's hurting on the inside and how much she's masking that and you can almost see that too with the guinea pig when when harry said that guinea pigs can get depressed because they get lonely and i was like oh my god okay thank you for telling us exactly what fleabag is feeling because she's feeling that depression and that absence and that loneliness so what seems like a throwaway line is actually telling you exactly how fleabag feels and it just, you feel that throughout the entire episode. You, you made a theory last episode about her maybe doing something she wasn't supposed to with someone that Blue was close with, and we're assuming this guy. And after watching this episode, I am 1000% on board with that theory. I'm also on board with your prediction that the guinea pig is gonna pass away. And I think the guinea pig passing away is gonna wreck her. And that's what's gonna be that final breaking point for her. I definitely do feel all those things. I think the things that we're a little bit different on is maybe not so much, I think you said, with the crush that Boo had. I didn't feel the confirmation until they locked eyes Mm -hmm. and she walked out of that uh, shop Mm -hmm. and started having a panic attack. But that would be the only thing that was a little bit different from what you said. But for everything else though, yeah, I, I, I feel you on them. (laughs) Uh, Another thing that I thought was kind of surprising was the fact that we saw Claire's and Fleabag's dad at that business party. So you're kind of seeing that, okay, so maybe he is a little bit closer to Claire than he is closer to Fleabag. And then obviously you're seeing, you know what I mean, the the stepmother be pretty... uh, Bitchy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's what we're going to use. All right, guys. So that was season one, episode three of Fleabag. Now that we're at the end, what's your score? For me, I think I'm going to go ahead and give this episode a eight and a half. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give this just a half step below you. I'm going to give it an eight. Uh, I think, you know, kind of like I said earlier, it got my brain tinkling and I'm super surprised that they were able to develop the plot through the comedy itself and develop that emotion. And it's it's just it was a good episode, and I think as of right now, for this show too, I think this is going to be my favorite episode so far. According to IMDb, it looks like this episode has about a 7.6, 
If you think that this episode deserves more or less, let us know in the comments down below. All right, guys, that wraps up our thoughts for episode three of Fleabag. If you enjoyed it, please do us a favor. Go and hit that like, comment, and subscribe, especially that like. It lets us know things that you would like to see on the channel. But other than that, guys, we love you, and we will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.